Here is our file for this exercise, 23.vwx, and we're going to create a custom light and place it in the scene. So we'll go to the Visualization Toolset, click on the Light Tool, and up in the toolbar, select the Custom Light Mode, and then click on the Light Tool Preferences button. The Custom Light Data dialog box opens. Now we need to bring in the IES file provided by the manufacturer that we selected. To do that, we will click on the Load Distribution button and now navigate to the location where we place the IES file, which is the data file provided by the manufacturer for this light fixture. Uh, in our case, for this exercise, we put the IES sample file in the same folder containing the exercise file. So the name of the file is 1.IES. Select it click open. And now we've loaded the custom light with the data from the manufacturer and uh, click OK. The light preferences dialog box opens. For now we'll just leave these things as they are. Click OK. And now let's click once in the scene to place the light. In the object info palette, let's scroll down and uh, raise the Z height of the light fixture from zero, which is floor level to just under the ceiling height. So let's put 2600 millimeters. And then we'll adjust the, the default pan and tilt settings. So the pan will set to zero and the tilt will set to 45. This way it's pointing straight up. The light is pointing straight up at this rear wall and the tilt is at 45 degrees. It'll be a little easier to see when we render. Now let's go to the first save view and render in Final Quality RenderWorks. Now we've left the light selected so the object info palette still reflects the settings for this light and we can now go and scroll down and adjust various of these settings in accordance with what we'd like. So for example we can click on Soft Shadows and adjust the tilt of the light to something a little bit perhaps more vertical. And now let's render in in the realistic interior final render work style to see what it looks like in the final rendering mode. Now again this rendering shows the light containing the characteristics of the particular IES file that we downloaded from a manufacturer. But if we'd like to load in a different IES file, all we need to do is click on the Load Distribution button here in the Object Info Palette and then navigate to the location where we downloaded a different IES file and load that in instead. And it will, since we are in already in a rendered mode, as soon as we've loaded the new IES file, it will re-render with the new characteristics.